that structure there is gone and they have made a few bridges for people to cross <laughs> amazing hi guys how are you all doing i hope you're all fine um so as you guys would know by now there was something going on with the camera you probably didn't notice the photos if you don't pause it when i showed them i showed them very quickly and you understood that a, a few months earlier i had another problem with my camera so the stabilizer went completely mad and that happened only around that place around the stream around the structures around that area the so the the video that i've shot that I have shot before and after that one, it showed no problem with the stabilizer, only on that place. And like I mentioned, I also, we also had some problems like that in another place, a prehistoric place, a classified prehistoric place with more than 2000 years old in Portugal. It was a place of cult to the god Enduvelico. It was a Celtic god that um, the the Lusitanian people um, were were worshiping before the Romans came to Iberian Peninsula to Portugal and Spain. So at the place at the altar at the energetic place where they where they have done those offerings that we and the old and the and historians don't know what were the, those offerings that could be animals that could be um, their crops. It could be anything, but it could be also some human sacrifice. We really don't know what was happening there, but it was an altar of sacrifice, of worshipping, of offering. And exactly at that place, the camera um, the camera went went like that with with the stabilizer going completely completely mad. And uh, around the place, a few meters it uh, after and before, the videos were not showing those uh, mal malfunctions, those, those, those uh, abnormalities. So um, I'm showing you uh, the first photo of the sequence. So I arrived there with Vera on, like I said, on Christmas, on Christmas Eve. And when we arrive, I pick up my phone. And these photos are taken with my phone. So I, I photograph this first structure. Um, and I photograph it with my phone. My phone, you can, it's a phone like this one, as you can see. I open the phone, I open the app of the phone. And here, you probably can see here, there's the button, the two buttons of the volume. And if you press the top button of the volume, you take a picture if you have your app uh, opened. So I didn't shut down my phone. And whenever I wanted to take a photo, I was just opening the, the case. And I took the photo because the phone was already on and ready to, to, to work. So I took this photo of this structure. This is a structure that at least has one year old. It 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 has gone from 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 some changes. It has some changes along this last year, but it's mainly the same. Then the, that's another one, like ten feet to the to the side. Uh, this is a new one, but it has already like five months, six months old. So it's have less the time of the other ones. And it's you can see that is already being uh, uh, overtaken by the by the vegetation around it. By the time it was constructed, it 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 had no 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 foliage, no vegetation, and immediately. When I took this photo, I closed the case with the app and the phone um, on. 
So when I needed to to to, took, to, took, to take another photo, I, I only needed to to open to open the case again and to press this button, the top button of the volume, to 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 make the shutter of the camera app um, function. So I walked away from this structure, like about 10, 15 feet. And when I was um, when I was near the place where on the other photos you have seen uh, what I've called the village because it has two or three structures and there's a stream on the front and sometimes they put those fake bridges and put some squares done with wood that we don't know how, how, how what what those squares mean. The bridges, we can guess that those are some fake bridges, but they are not functional because if you put your feet, you can break an, an ankle putting your feet there because the, 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 the wood would roll out and your feet is going, is going down into the stream. So you can break an ankle there. That's not a functional, um, a functional bridge, but they do around these areas some, some of these not functional bridges. And when I was arriving at that place, so 10, 10, 15 feet from this structure that you're seeing and 10 feet from the, the others, 10, seven, seven to 10 feet from the other structures of the village, the supposed, what I call village, um, I felt because I was with my phone uh, on my hand and I was carrying my phone around my leg because I, I was with my with my arms down and walking and I heard the shutter being pressed and I thought what the heck what the heck I'm not I'm not touching the, the buttons and I looked down and I immediately thought whoa let me see what happened and when I opened the phone this was the photo that um, this was the photo that was taken. Don't know. Wow. <laughs> why is this? Why is this arrow here? I, I really don't know. Okay, I don't know how that arrow and Sasquatch appeared on this photo, so I will disregard that as a, an abnormality, but it's quite strange. So I'm going to put my camera to the side for you guys to see. So this is the photo. And as you can see, it looks quite odd. And I look at this and I immediately thought what some of you guys are already thinking because this is like fur, it's gray fur. And even here, you can see some, some shape into it. You see? You can see some shape into it. And we will talk about that later. So, um, after seeing the photo, and this was like one minute after the after the after the other um, after the other photo of the structure that I was that I was seeing before. Then I then this photo appeared. I immediately looked at the phone. I saw the photo and I I said to Vera, "Look at the photo. Look at this." I I did not take this photo. I was not pressing the shutter. And what is this? On that position that the phone was, I immediately thought, so maybe, I don't know, the phone went on and it took a photo of my leg. This is probably my leg. So I immediately, uh, I immediately went back and I, I, I have done the, um, I've done the same steps 
And when I was at the place that I heard the shutter, I really pressed the shutter on the way that I was uh, picking up my phone. So, and these are the two the two photographs that I that I managed to 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 take. If it was me taking, if it was me pressing the shutter, so I want I I want you guys to also uh, see the ground and see the color of the ground and of the terrain. So this is a photo taken a few seconds or like a minute or two after uh, of me trying to. Um, trying to take the same steps and trying to do the same photo if it was me pressing accidentally the shutter. So this is my legs. I was I was wearing some jeans that are visibly bluish and there are jeans. I I I I walk, I, I have done this the, the I reconstitute the steps even walking because I was not I was not uh, stopped in one place. So the photo, the photo, and or the phone take, took the photo in in slight movement of my hand because when we walk, we put our arms slightly in front and to the back. We 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 don't we we are not walking with the arms completely static, you know. So I balanced my arms like in a normal walk, and these were the two photos that I managed to, to take. So you can see the ground color and the foliage and the color. And I even took, uh, so this is the stream and the, the, the place that I call village and where the other, the other time the, the camera went mad with the, with the stabilizer. And I even took a photo or two of the ground where the, at the place where the photo, where I heard the shutter being pressed. And this is the ground. You can see the the leaves. You can see the the color of the of the of the of the soil. So completely different. You can see it, and I'm I'm going to show you again the photo. So someone something pressed the shutter button and took this photo right beside me. Um. There are some people uh, saying that they can superimpose photos on the camera and they probably can. They can put it like you put a file. You can you can copy paste the file to another to another phone, to another to a, to a, to, a, to a computer. But this was not the case. This was a photo because I heard the shutter going on. So how I'm I'm completely without words, without really understanding or without even without even uh, being able to to explain to you guys what I'm seeing. So the ground and the soil, it's not the same. It's completely it's completely barren with with clay, no leaves, no, no. No old leaves. You, you, you can see the the orangish soil, so it it seems more like a open terrain, like more let's sub desertic type, some very high clay soil uh, with uh, with no organic matter, and you can see clearly what it seems to be fur or hair, but very not very. Uh, it's, it's it's very like fur more than hair you can see the you can see the the texture even here on the front on this on this part and for me and i have rotated the image quite a lot of times to try to understand if the image is 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 to be seen like that or you have to rotate it and this is the the this is the only way that seems to be making some kind of meaning because let me here uh show you guys um you you can see like here i can imagine that this is the arm so this is the forearm from from this place down, the forearm, 
you can see here probably the bicep, the shoulder, and you can see the hip, and you can see the forearm making the making um how do you say it making a cast casting a shadow on the hip. You see, if the light is coming this way, uh, it would cast a shadow. The forearm would cast a shadow on the hip. That seems to be doing like this. And whatever this being is, that I think it is a Sasquatch. I don't know. Like I said to you guys, I believe that there are some quite a few species of Sasquatch. I don't know if this one was big. If it, um, if it, if it's big, if it's, I, I don't know anything about it. I don't. I cannot make um, with this photo any comparison of size. But we really can see that uh, if this is a shoulder and the arm, and if the, if this is the hip, they have plenty of hair on their shoulders, like it's coming from the head. And here it could it, they have plenty of hair on the chest and in front of their chest, probably coming from a beard or from natural hair or fur around the area of the chest and being less and this air being less abundant or shorter at probably from the belly down and uh, probably on their forearms, as you can see. You can see also some, some pale stripes here that could be an effect from their their fur they could have like a pattern they could have like it's, it's not a zebra but it 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 looks like having like a pattern of on their arms it could also be an effect i but i i i really doubt it if it's an effect of the photo being um being like uh, uh i don't know the how, how you call it guys when when the shutter has no the, the velocity of the shutter has, has not enough velocity to frozen the image. You can see these like very soft images and unfocused, but I don't think so because if it was a, an abnormality of the shutter speed, you could have seen these stripes going along all the photo and not only around the arms. So tell me what you guys, tell me what you guys think but um i really try i really try to do things and i really try to to look at the world around me of a, in a in a more scientific way in a very conscious way but it's amazing i i, I was listening yesterday to mike patterson on an interview that he has done and it, it's amazing how these these events just happen around everything that you try to do with Sasquatch, any research you try to do with Sasquatch, when you find some of these areas and anyone that don't dismiss, because there are people that dismiss, oh, that, I, I really think that some people that this would happen, they would just delete the photo and, and, uh, they they would think that this was them messing around with the with the camera on their hands but as you can see if you have a, if you use the scientific method you could um, redo your steps and you could try to in a scientific way try to redo how that photo was taken and as you guys can see it's completely impossible the ground color the soil color and <laughs> i can show you guys this is not my leg i'm not hoaxing this i'm i was completely amazed i'm i'm going to show you guys i'm going to show you guys the photos so this is the sequence and as you can see this one is the first one here EMG 20, 23, 22, 24, and the uh, 15, 52, 54. So 
you can see this is a sequence and this photo, let me put the cursor here. So this photo here, I can show you the, the photo before I can show you the exif file. So it's this file that you cannot fake it. This file comes with your with a photo that you that you take. If you take it with your cell phone, if you take it with a professional camera, all images generate an exif file. And if you go to details on the exif file, it shows you the hour. So 1554, 24, 12, 20, 23. And it shows you the size of this photo and shows you the camera, it was a Xiaomi, it's the, it's the, it's the cell phone, the f-stop, the exposition time, the velocity, the, the ISO of the photo, and the, the focal distance, so four millimeters, this, this was a photo taken with my cell phone. And like, like a, and do you want to see, it's like 1554. No, now I'm going to show you the exif file of the photo in question. So the exif file, you go to properties, details, 24, 12, 20, 23 at 1555. So it was like one minute later, this photo was taken and you can see Xiaomi. So the same cell phone, the same day, the same date, the same sequence. So 1555. And the first photo that I have done trying to redo my steps and trying to redo this photo as by accident, as I have done it by accident, we can see the exif file also. So I'm not hoaxing this, guys. I'm letting you know, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you like details 24, 12, 20, 23 at 1558. So I took a few minutes to look at the photo, to show where the photo and to think what, I'm go what, were I, what I was going to do. And I really, um Xiaomi also yeah you can see so and I decided to go back a few steps because I I only went in front of me like three four three four three four yards walking with Vera and I returned and I I have redone my footsteps and I have pressed the shutter like I was touching it with my finger and that's what I managed to that's what i managed to 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 take so my leg my jeans the soil the ground so completely completely different from what um, this image that was taken by them and i will call it them uh completely different completely different the what what even makes me think more about it it's the ground the ground color and the soil color but because it's not if you think about it if there were only um uh if we we are not only able to see them because they are cloaked when they uncloak they they, they have to uncloak to took a photo from themselves and they have not done that and even if they have done that, the ground and the soil color would have been the same because it would have been at the same place. And this photo was not on the same place and not at that hour. You, you cannot match the soil color and the ground with the ground and the soil color where I, where I was. So what is this really showing us? We don't know. Is this really showing that they this this photo was from another dimension that is just right next to us? Is this photo from an ancient past of that place, like three hundred years ago, one thousand years ago? Was that place like bare, with 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 bare soil, with no trees around, with 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 oranges oranges uh, clay to the soil? Is that the case? We don't know. I'm not sure, but um, this kind of of proof that sometimes they they offer me and they offer me in Vera. It's they. It's like they are trying to tell me something, but they only show you this. 
and you want to know the the bigger part, the bigger picture. And they are willing, guys, they are willing to show you pieces, but they are going to make you work for the truth and for the understanding of what is around you guys. It must come from your head and from your heart. Um, and you, I believe that you have to to merge those two things. You cannot, if because if you only think about it, you're gonna end in the in a never-ending circle. You go, you will go around, 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 and you don't know anything, and you will not understand anything. So they are trying to tell you something very that it's amazing because this photo i i clearly believe this is a photo of them of a body part of them from the chest and their arm and they are showing me that this photo was not taken there but the shutter the shutter and the and the and the and the, and the cell phone was were, the shutter was pressed on on that place so what what can this what what is this telling us that they took my photo went into the past went to another dimension took a photo and and given that to me no because i I'm, i did not let go the foot the, the the cell phone the cell phone was always in on my hand so how they how, how have they done it it's clearly amazing and i am sorry for all of you that don't believe in paranormal sasquatch but you will understand someday and if you are willing to 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 see and if you are willing to believe that something is very odd and something is very odd thousands of people are telling you on reports and telling you and telling science guys uh that something very hard is is happening around Sasquatch, and that's the only way to go forward. There's a bigger picture to Sasquatch. It's not just a nominee. It's just not the guy. A few days ago, I stumbled upon a YouTube channel of a guy making fun of people. Most of the channels and people that believe in paranormal Sasquatch, they they even made a video doing uh, speaking about mind speak and they have come across a very unbelievable way of proving for us proving we have to prove we have to prove that these things are happening or not so the way the very scientific and intelligent way that they have come it was uh, by us having a shirt and on the back of on our back we have uh, a word written that we don't know of and we have to uh, ask Sasquatch to to let us know what is there written and then we say the word and then, then they believe. You see how intelligent and how amazingly scientific this way of proofing mind speak that they invented it's unbelievable. I, sometimes I, I I don't know what to think about some people but um mind speak it's it's um it's it's also real and at this place in the few minutes after we were i was discussing with vera what's going on with this place because the camera almost always malfunctions and the, that what i call village is always there they are always doing something they're always putting the bridges or putting a stick or or putting them down then putting them up something is going on there and there's a stream and more a few yards to the south there's another stream coming the other way um and i don't know how much you guys know about uh, ley lines telluric and telluric energies of earth but um I know a few things, Vera only knew ley lines. And on that day, after we were walking around and speaking about that, so Vera stopped and looked very strange, looking at at basically to her, to her front, but basically 
not looking at anything and she uh she grabbed my my arm and she said Tuluric what is Tuluric and and I said so it's Tuluric Tuluric lines Tuluric energy I and she said I heard Tuluric I don't know that does that mean anything do you know what is Tuluric because Tuluric keeps keeps appearing on my head and this is mind speak someone something probably it could even not be them could be even your higher conscious that is helping you uh, understanding because your higher conscious for sure knows a lot more than you uh, but uh, that message was coming down the line and the response was that that place is special that place has energies And Tuluric lines, Artman lines, Ley lines are places of energy of the earth. It's like a grid line where energies that are magnetic, electromagnetic energies. You can you can you can look at like that. You 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 don't even have to look at energies like something coming from a movie. You can you can you can think on energy basically on electricity. So there are elect electric lines where where the energies can be conducted around the earth and they influence a lot of these strange phenomena and these electromagnetic phenomena. And someday I will uh, make a special video talking about electricity and Sasquatch around the electromagnetic issue that I think it's a lot it's it's a lot going on there but that's that's uh, a, a talk for another day a conversation for another day a very very difficult one for some people to 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 put their minds into it so not not many people will believe that kind of phenomenon and <laughs> most many people will not believe even what I'm telling you and what I am presenting you. Uh, they're offering to me and Vera and to you guys because this happened the last month and I, I haven't waited one more year to letting you know and to show you guys this that this photo. So light gray color, like silvery gray. At least this individual is this is this light. Not all of them are black, not all of them. Some of them are white, some of them are like uh, more orangish, uh, so brownish and orangish. Some of them are very gray silver like like this one. Uh, so tell me. Tell me on the comments what you think of this. Um, but this was an offering. And that's what I feel. That's what I think. And sometimes they they show, they show us uh, some, some evidence that make us believe a little bit more. And this was the case. It was it was another piece of the puzzle for me, for Vera, for all of you guys. And yeah, let me think what you let me let me know what you think on the comments. Um, in two days, I'm going to go. I'm going to my to my to my visit to the Pyrenees. So I, I'm going to do my second winter expedition. So in two days, I'm going to leave. And let's see what happens there on the Skinwalker Valley of the Pyrenees. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys like it. And I see you, I see you guys on the next video, okay? So bye-bye. See ya.